people have been talking about the rising inflation and interest rate hikes. We know how badly that's affecting everyone's salaries, leaving you uh, with a little bit less each month. And salaries generally stay stagnant. Everything else seems to increase. But it looks like data is showing that salaries actually stabilized uh, in June. Banks of Africa found that the average take-home pay for June was more than at that of May. Why is that happening and how uh, significant is this and how big a stabilization are we looking at here? Well, independent economist Elise Kriya joining me uh, this morning. Hello to you, Elise. Uh, I appreciate the time. So let's talk to me first of all. How do we know it's stabilized? What is that data point that you look at? Morning, Gareth. Yeah, so for June, the uh, take home pay, the nominal take home pay of banks have indicated a salary that is uh, just about 14,600. That is about 0.8% above the, the level of May. So it's really a tiny tweak higher. But compared to a year ago, it's now flat, whereas in the previous few months, we actually had a sort of deep negative year on year uh, comparison. You know, to last year. So it shows us, and especially over the past three months, that salaries have started to just move sideways, you know, flatlined, which is actually a positive in the light of the fact that the economic environment has continued to be very challenging out there. So despite that, we're at least not seeing further drops, we're seeing sort of sideways movement. And then hopefully if a couple of economic factors could turn to the positive, we could start to see this scenario turning around. Uh, let's talk about some of those economic factors. Let's imagine we, we all had a wishing well and we threw our wishes into it. What would those economic factors be, at least for it to head in the right direction? I'm guessing interest rates coming down could be one of them. What are those factors? Yes, indeed. Interest rates, I think, have plateaued and we should not see a further hike from this current level, in my view. But also on the inflation front, you know, inflation has started to moderate you know, quite meaningfully and that is a real positive for for households and for purchasing power, you know, when the inflation was at its height of like 7.8 percent, I mean, it is really hard out there in terms of purchasing power and you know, to, to make ends meet with what you've got in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So, with inflation now back into the target band and moderating further, we could uh, be as low as 5 percent in July. You know, it should assist in you know moderating this erosion of purchasing power that you know households have experienced over the past year. But I think the main one or the big one is also load shedding because load shedding has had a, a significant negative impact on the economy as a whole. And if you think about companies and profits and margins, you know, if we can have an alleviation on the load shedding front, that could just, you know, make the whole scenario for companies better. And then there's more scope for better salary increases and for more job opportunities and so on. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like right now with uh, more than 205 days so far this year and stage four blackouts, top right hand side of our screen, uh, you know, indefinitely for stage four at the moment. I wish you were right. I wish it could just change, but it's not where we are at the moment. So let's go back to the salaries very quickly, just specifically. So if it's staying stagnant, uh, what would it mean then as far as uh, the companies being able to offer increases, for example? So salaries aren't going down, which means companies aren't taking as much of a hit. Are we anywhere near talking about possible increases uh, for, for people working in companies based on all these data points? Uh, yes, we're looking at this on an average basis, Karen. Mm. So it's a bit difficult to say, you know, if you look at different skills levels and different income groups, you know, there are divergent trends among those. You know, so on a, the, the, the snapshot of banks of data is really an average of the uh, of the sample, which is about a quarter of the workforce of, of South Africa. Um, but yes, I think, you know, in certain instances, for instance, where there are high skill le skills levels that companies would like to retain, you would typically get higher salary increases in order for companies to, to keep their personnel. But on a lower level of, uh, of skills, I think there's definitely still a scenario of very moderate, uh, you know, salary offerings because of the fact that companies just try to keep doors open and also that a lot of uh, the available money has been flowing to like uh, you know load shedding mitigation measures to just keep doors open and to keep uh, keep going 
uh, as opposed to you know necessarily look at the workforce in terms of, of uh, you know higher salaries and a better dispensation but i do think that could change over time you know for now we are really at a very bad spot as you mentioned uh, you know we we have been had to struggle with load shedding and all of these things for a prolonged period i mean salaries have been under pressure if you look at banks of data for almost two years now so it's been difficult out there for for workers uh, those you know say lucky enough to have a job because the job market itself is also you know uh, I mean quite challenging. Uh, mm. If we look at the numbers of banks of Africa, you know, it indicated for us you know in the second quarter, and if you take three months together, April May June, uh, a further two hundred thousand uh, potential job losses, as we've seen that so many you know less salaries were paid into the bank accounts. So there's still a lot of pressure out there, and I think one could hardly expect that to change you know in the short term unless, you know, the environment change meaningfully. Yeah, it's, it's all about the environmental factors, and I suppose you've got to look at it from a, a, a macro side as well, not just a micro side. There's so much weighing into uh, when it comes to increases and, and inflation, et cetera, as well. But I want to ask this, just in closing, uh, what would the expectation be for the stagnation of salaries, say, in the next quarter, the next couple of months? Is it still too early to tell, or are the data sets and the pattern there suggesting it could be some good news? Well, just based on the fact that inflation is now at the point where it should moderate a bit further, I do think we could see at least the stabilization continuing and maybe a further tweak up, definitely in the real terms. You know, so if you look at the inflation, uh, of the inflation, I think we should start to see the real take home pay salary creeping further upwards. In nominal terms, you know, I think uh, perhaps just a, a flat to a slight uptick is what could be expected in the next quarter. Well, let's hope so. We're probably going to be talking again, you and I. Hopefully it's as good news. I mean, I know we're using the word stagnant, but at least it's not going down. Uh, salaries at the moment. Uh, independent economist Elise Kruger. Uh, Elise Kruger, thank you very much indeed for your time. So it's